Welcome everyone, you get the software update failed and error occurred downloading iOS 12.5.7. The reason why you get this is because your iPhone is jailbroken. So the solution here is even if you forgot that you used a jailbreak in the past, you will need to re-download a, a jailbreak utility and then remove the jailbreak from your device. So to do this, most of you are probably running iOS 12. So if that's the case, I'm gonna have the zeus.me website in the description. Uh, from here, tap on browse for the jailbreaks. And you're gonna tap on get for Freya. Get again, open. And we just need to install the Freya onto our phone. So this jailbreak, even if you didn't use it before, uh, with the unjailbreak button, we can remove the old uncovered jailbreak, Chimera jailbreak, Checkrain jailbreak, any jailbreak you used on this phone in the past, as long as you're running iOS 12, you can remove it. So when we try and open up the app, we're gonna get the untrusted developer. So the fix is we go to settings, general, device management, enterprise app, and I want you to trust this. So opening up the Freya jailbreak, we're just gonna to go to the settings, and uh, we just need to select the restore rootfs, okay? And then you go home, and then you tap on the remove right here. So if you do get an error, uh, do keep in mind you have to restart the phone, okay, manually with the power and home button, and then try again. But uh, hopefully for you, the uh, unjailbreak will work. Uh, once the unjailbreak is finished, we can then upgrade to the iOS 12.5.7, you can say I'm on the old 12.5.6. So you will see proof that I get this working because I'll have a video in the description where you can see me on iOS 12.5.7. So when you see the rootfs restored, you're good to go. Uh, after this, you can upgrade the software. Uh, iOS 12.5.7 does support the Freya jailbreak. So if you do want to re-jailbreak your phone after the software update, that is something you can do as well. So that is the solution. Thanks for watching. Again, proof this works will be in the description because I do need to update this phone to iOS 12.5.7 for some videos. And this is how I'm going to do it. Bye-bye.